If you're looking for ways to save time, then check out our template shop. We have everything from Canva templates that can help you create lead magnets or freebies where you don't have to start from scratch. Also website page templates that you can use to build website pages very fast and efficiently. We even have legal documents and more. These are going to be the most cost effective and time saving resources to get the job done fast. Every template comes with step-by-step -step instructions on how to use them. And we even have a free template for you. This is our brand guide and website mock-up template. You're going to get free access when you use the link below this video or type in knccreative.com forward slash brand guide. This is going to help you put together your brand aesthetic. So whether you're just starting out your business and you need to come up with colors, fonts, visuals that going, are going to be cohesive for your brand and create that brand identity, or you're looking to rebrand and maybe switch it up, change up the vibe because you've grown. This is going to be incredibly helpful. And the brand guide comes with a website mock-up template inside Canva. So you can then plug and play these colors and fonts into this mock-up so you can see what they will actually look like on your website before you spend the time and energy to build it out on your website. So highly effective for those just starting out in their business, needing to create that brand aesthetic or if you're looking to rebrand. Again, go to knccreative.com forward slash brand guide to get this for free today. Hey friend, welcome to the Badass is the New Black podcast where our motto is done is better than perfect. I'm Chrissy Chin here on a mission to help you grow your business online, turn your leads into lifelong customers and scale to six figures and beyond so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more. Most importantly, I'm a laid back wife, a mom, a friend who started as a peds nurse turned network marketer, and now a serial entrepreneur. This podcast is for ambitious people with an idea, a vision, but no idea how to get there on this podcast. I'll give actionable steps to keep you moving forward while you learn new business strategies, better systems and processes, marketing sales, all the things you need to build and scale a blissful business that keeps your pocketbooks growing. Grab a beverage, open up your notes app, and let's get to it. Speaking of efficiency, today we're going to talk about using AI, specifically ChatGPT, as your personal assistant. I have some very fun ways that you can use ChatGPT for your personal life. So I know you might be thinking, gosh, she's gonna come on here, she's gonna talk about how to use ChatGPT for her business, but we're talking personal today. Because when we free up time in our personal life, we create more time for our business and things to do there. So why not use this AI tool to create more time in your personal life and even for your business? So I snagged some of these amazing ideas from the amazing Amanda Marie because I was using ChatGPT mostly for copywriting purposes where I would say, hey, you know, create a paragraph that describes this, this, and this, and that would help me get started. I have never really been able to use uh, ChatGPT with just blind, take it, copy and paste it, don't look at it. There are things that need to be tweaked at times. And so, but it's very helpful to use as a starting point, maybe to create inspiration. But I saw a post from her where she was using it more in her personal life. And I thought it was very interesting and fascinating. And I was like, I think I wanna try that too. So I'm gonna give you some quick examples of how I've been using ChatGPT in my everyday life to save time almost as a personal assistant. And sure, you can ask Siri on your phone some of these things, but she's gonna pull up a website, try and find a blog that talks about it, read you that blog, there might be a lot of fluff. When you use ChatGPT, it literally lists out exactly what you're looking for. So it's more efficient than just having Siri search the web for some website that might describe what you're talking about. So here are some of the ways that I've been using it lately. So I used it today, actually a little bit before recording this podcast to put together the list of everything that I had to do and put it in an order that would make sense for me and be the most efficient. So I gave it about seven things to do. I said, 
All right, ChatGPT, I have to do uh, uh, multiple things in the next four hours and my kids will be home in an hour. What order should I do these in to be most efficient with my time? And I said, I have to record a podcast. I have to respond to two emails. I have to send an email to someone sharing a few names with them and do an introduction. I have to go to the grocery store. I need to schedule a physical for my son's camp. And I did tell it that my kids would be home in about an hour and then I had about three hours to do all of these things. And it came up with a list within 60 seconds, it was probably actually 20 or 30 seconds of the things that I should do in the order. And what was funny enough is I have it here on my phone, I will pull it up. Of course, Siri heard me say, hey Siri. Well, I didn't say, hey Siri, but I said you could use Siri and now she is trying to pull up and do things for me. Okay, so <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, I'm pulling this up right now. Um, so it said things like, you know, one, respond to the email and text message. Quick responses can help clear your communication tasks fast. And then two, it said, record the podcast episode. This requires focus and concentration. So it's best to do before your children get home. Um, and then there was another thing, uh, updating the links in the email that I said. And then four, it said, take your dog for a walk, a short break to walk the dog and help refresh your mind before continuing the remaining tasks. So I kind of loved how it gave reasons as to why I should do some of these things in the order. And it was smart enough to consider some of those things. So the next time you have a busy day with a long to-do list of all the things to do, you can leave a very detailed message for your little chat GPT assistant to come up with a solid outline for how you need to do it to work an efficient way. So another creative way that you can use ChatGPT is to make a dinner recipe for you. How often are you, you know, it's four o'clock and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't even thought about dinner yet. I don't have time to go to the grocery store. And you're like, what am I going to do? Well, you can tell ChatGPT what ingredients you have, maybe some things out of your fridge, maybe some ingredients from your freezer or pantry. And you can say, this is what I have. Create a recipe for me out of these ingredients. And you can even say that I could make in 30 minutes, right? And you can tell it maybe, um, and I can only use the grill or I could have a stove top or I have a pressure cooker and it will spit out some recipes and I will tell you that they, some of them are very delicious. So that's another way that you can use it. If you're going on summer vacation, consider asking GPT to come up with some great places to stop along the way. Maybe you're taking a road trip and you have children between certain ages and you need to take breaks. And you also want to do some sightseeing on the way. You can ask ChatGPT to come up with a detailed schedule of when you could take these breaks, where they could be, and what you could possibly see along the way uh, to make it make the most sense for you. You can also use it to help pick out movies. My husband and I have this thing where we are trying to have our kids watch some of these old classic movies. And so sometimes we're kind of like just can't remember the movies that we watched when we were a kid, all of them. And so you can use ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT, create a list of movies from the 90s that would be really fun to watch with our 10-year-old son. And it'll come up with a list. So that's another fun way. I've also used it recently for birthday party game ideas. So my son's birthday is coming up and I've got about six boys coming to the house and we're trying to stay off of screen. So, and it's going to be nice outside. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with uh, seven to 10 games, birthday party games that we could play for a group of seven, 10 and 11 year old boys outside that could be fun and engaging. And it came up with a whole list of games that we could try. And while I'm, I'm not interested in trying every single one, there were some great and fun ideas that I'll now take to my son and see if he wants to do some of these. So that was a creative way I used it recently. Uh, you could use it to help you write an email to a parent if their child has treated your child poorly. Then you could say, hey, ChatGPT, help me write an email to a parent whose child did X, Y, Z to my child. And, you know, I don't know how to approach the situation delicately. Help me write a kind email to make them aware of the situation and, you know, give them all the details that you want. And ChatGPT will write the email. You might want to tweak the email language to sound a little bit more like you, but it's going to get you started. And sometimes in these situations, we just 
feel like we don't know where to start and we don't want to come off a certain way. So you can tell ChatGPT that I don't want to sound angry. I want to sound inviting. I want to sound like I want to resolve the situation um, and kind and all of that. And it will take that into consideration. Um, you could use it for, I'm trying to think of the other ways that I've used it. So I also used it recently. I'm recording this before Easter. So I used it to come up with ideas to, for little things to put inside the Easter eggs, because the last thing I want to do is just stuff all of those with candy. So I was sort of at a loss and you know, the typical like tattoos and ch money and things like that. And so I asked ChatGPT to give me a list of 20 things that I could put inside uh, an Easter egg that was not candy related and it spit out a list. And some of them I had heard before it did list tattoos and it did list money like coins. Um, but some of the other things I hadn't really thought of before. So it was fun to get that list. Now, I think those are some great starting points. I think having this list of some of these creative ideas could maybe start sparking some ideas for you. Think about what's going on in your life uh, in the near future or what you're working on and just think, hmm, I wonder if I could ask ChatGPT to help me in this area um, and give it a try. And I'd love to hear what you've been using. If you're watching on YouTube in the comments below, share with me maybe a personal or creative idea or way that you have used ChatGPT or other AI. Uh, the uh, Amanda who shared some of these things that like sparked my curiosity and then I started using them. She shared that she used, I think it was called Dolly um, for, I could look it up here. Yes, it's called Doll E, D A L L dash E. And she said she used it to help her imagine an aesthetic for her child's room uh, because they ask for some color, you know, bold colors, greens, red, baseball, cowboy, Nerf gun. And she was having a hard time visualizing it. And so she used that AI platform to help her come up with an idea. And she said it was super helpful. So maybe there are some creative ways that you have used either ChatGPT or another um, another AI platform. I would love to hear about it in the chat. I am not an AI guru by any means. I'm just been sharing some of the ways that I've been using it and I would love to learn more ways. And I'm sure everyone else listening to this episode would as well. So share that in the comments on the YouTube video. If you're listening to this on the podcast, reach out to me via social on Instagram. I'm the Chrissy Chin underscore and send me a message and let me know how you're using AI creatively, whether it's in business or your your personal life uh, to help save time because maybe I need that tip and maybe someone else does too. If you found this valuable and you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, uh, leave a review if you're on the podcast and hit that follow button as well so you can get the weekly episodes. Until next week, I do hope that you implement some of these to help you save a little bit of time. Don't forget to go check out that template shop. Grab your free brand guide and website mock-up. Go to kncreative.com forward slash brand guide. Claim that, snag that for free and start playing around with that. I can't wait to see you come, what you come up with. Until next time, go take some imperfect action and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got some value out of this episode, I would love some support and the best way to do that so I can keep showering you with loads of actionable tips is to hit that subscribe button, leave a review or a comment if you're on YouTube and share this podcast with a friend. And when you share it with a friend on social, please tag me so I can reshare your share in my stories. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out. I appreciate the heck out of you for showing up. And now it's time for you to take imperfect action so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more.